So there's a passage, James 2.17, that says, even so, faith without works is dead. And it's a a very real passage because we know that faith comes by hearing. So that's how faith is born. But how it dies is that it doesn't have any works attached. So it doesn't say that like faith never existed. It doesn't say that faith wasn't real. It says that faith apart from works is dead because it can't survive. The works is actually the food that kind of feeds the faith. And so like in our lives, there's a uh, an honesty that we need to come to grips with. And that, that honesty is like, what is it that we believe? And first off, it's like, how much can a person actually believe and still steward well? I mean, that's something to consider. So there's certain aspects of the gospel. It's like, what aspects do you really want to believe and make sure survive in your life? Um, and I'm not talking about like saving faith, because that's something else. I'm talking about the, the things that come along with the gospel that actually we have to steward. So some of those things might be, uh, uh, we know that we're supposed to love the poor right and love others and so how are you actually doing that because if you don't actively go and serve others and love other people that thing that you know the greatest commandment is to love one another actually dies in your heart and so what that would mean then is if if that died in your heart the only thing that's left is the knowledge of it because faith is knowledge plus action right and the bible says this about knowledge is that knowledge puffs up so I, I know this is a weird sort of thing to think about, but how much knowledge in us has actually died and made us fat, and that's no longer alive in our life. And so we might have like dead seed. The only way that I know to bring back uh, faith, uh, and again, I'm not talking about saving faith, I'm talking about the things that we're supposed to believe that Jesus has said, is um, staying in the Word humbly and realizing that just because seed got sown into your heart doesn't mean that it took root. Just because you heard it before doesn't mean that you did anything with it. And so when we approach the Word, we should approach it humbly, realizing that maybe we've read this before, but maybe it's not alive and active in our life. And actually sit and, and contemplate whether or not it actually is. And so like if, like if I was to ask you the question, do you know you're supposed to love people? It's like, yeah, that's the greatest commandment. And I love the Lord. And yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. Well, are you doing it? No, specifically how? And not your family and not your friends, because that's not who he's talking about. Like, how have you laid down your life? Well, yeah, I know I'm supposed to deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow me. Okay, how have you done that? And if we can't attach real life on a weekly, ongoing basis to that, then that thing has died. And we need to be really careful of that because the last thing we need is to be fat on knowledge because that's when pride gets really big in our lives and God opposes that and the grace will lift off our lives.